and good evening. Good evening, everybody. My name is Mitchell Prentice. Welcome to my senior set. That first track you heard there was um, it was my first entry into jazz. Um, in 1986, my father went to Vancouver to Expo 86. He walked into a jazz club, and that's what he heard. And many years later, he gave me that record, and uh, here I am playing it. So. The Shuffle Demons really hold a dear place in my heart, so I thought it was fitting to uh, open the show up with that. And tonight we're talking about Canadian saxophone players, so I figured let's start there. That was the Shuffle Demons, the Shuffle Monster. Next up we're going to play a tune from Pat LaBarbera and Kirk McDonald. Um, this song is called A Message to Andre, and this is going to feature my friend Byrne on the saxophone. Do you want to be Kirk or Pat? You want to be Pat. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
Pat LaBarbera and Kirk McDonald have had illustrious, leaders, illustrious careers spanning God knows how long. They've been on at least over 100 albums. Um, Pat LaBarbera has recorded over 30 albums, half of which have been with the Buddy Rich Big Ben and Elvin Jones, two huge names. Um, Kirk McDonald has 100 of his compositions on 25 different albums. They're both Juno nominees, winners. How do you sum up a career like that in less than a minute? So I'm not. Um, we're gonna move on to something a little bit more modern. Um, this next tune is called Holding Court and it is from Ontario-based um, Kelly Jefferson. And I reached out to Kelly and asked him what the song was about and he told me it was about a uh, small restaurant in Toronto's Greek town that apparently had lovely chicken wings. And to accompany, him on, on, accompany me on this song, my friend Schubert Hernando was going to play keys with us.
Thank you, that was Kelly Jefferson's holding court. Um, I wanted to include a standard on my recital instead of just repertoire and all that. And um, I stumbled across a recording by BC saxophonist Phil Dwyer. And Phil Dwyer is an incredible musician. He's a six-time Juno winner. He's founder of C1 Musical Incorporated. He's a member of the Order of Canada, and he practices law at his firm. So, mom and dad, there's still hope for me, don't worry. <laughs> So I stumbled, across, I stumbled across this recording, and it was a tribute to the Gene, Ab Gene Ammons album, Boss Tenors. So please enjoy There Is No Greater Love.
that was my tribute to Gene Ammons and Phil Blyer. Next up, we're going to move on to uh, another very influential Canadian player, um, one who I have to thank my instructor, Gerald Fern, for introducing me to. Um, we're going to play some of the music of Ralph Bowen. And um, I really would like to take a moment to thank my instructor, Gerald, for, for uh, introducing, me, introducing me to this music and um, for helping me get to this point. So thank you very much, Gerald, and uh, I hope you enjoy Spikes and Soul the Proprietor. And to accompany me on this, please welcome JP and Zach Hassan to the stage. Might as well do the rest. Might as well do the rest of the band while I'm up here too. Um, on keys we have Schubert Hernando. <laughs> on bass Chris Larson. <laughs> and on drums Mr. Tony Flanagan. <laughs> For real this time, Spikes. Thank you. 
MVP, Badion. Badion on the trumpet. Schubert Hernando on the keys. That was Spikes and Soul Proprietor. We're getting down to the last little bit of it here. Um, and I wanted to focus in on something completely different now. <laughs> I got introduced to the music of Mike Murley through the Shuffle Demons. He was one of the founding members, and that led me to his greater discography, and it led me to an album called Departure. On that album, there's a song called Blues for Rest Evil, and I'm really drawn to Mike's playing, and I wanted to learn a little bit from it, so I thought I would transcribe it and learn it and try and make it my own. So I hope you please enjoy A Blues for Rest Evil by Mike Murley. Thank you. 
Thank you. That was a blues for Restivo. <laughs> and just like that, we've come to the last song here. Um, now I have to do my short laundry list of thank yous to everybody. I'd like to thank everybody here tonight. Thank you all for coming out. It truly does mean a lot to me, including my family and extended family who drove all the way up here from Calgary today. Thank you all for being here. It truly does mean the world to me. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank my partner Lexi for being here and supporting me through all my neuroses in these last few six months. So thank you for that. I'd like to thank my dear friend and roommate and stage manager Stephen Cameron in the back. And I thank you so much. Thank you, Mike, and everyone doing sound up there. We wouldn't sound like this without you guys. Thank you to Craig and Gerald, everyone who's helped me on this journey here at McEwen. It truly does mean a lot to me. And of course, thank you to everyone in the band here. Zach Hassan on guitar, Tony Flanagan on the drums, Chris Larson on the bass, Schubert Hernando on the keyboard, Vernon McMullen on the tenor saxophone, and JP Badian. Badian, I keep screwing it up, I'm sorry, on the trumpet. Thank you all so much for playing with me and being there with me through this whole thing. I truly do appreciate it. I'm going to play one last tune. It's a bit of an oddball from Seamus Blake and his band, The Bloom Daddies. We're going to play a song called One Note Mosh. Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you at the next one. Thank you. So, oh, Jacob Legendes, I'm so sorry. I forgot my name. I forgot your name on there. Is there anyone else I forgot? <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. Truly, I am. Okay. Let's rock it on out of here. One note, Mosh. <laughs>